Today on MTG Unpat, we're getting stuck into two more collector booster boxes of Double Masters 2022. So we're hoping to pull the Imperial Seal today, or alternatively, anything with the textured foiling would be awesome. So actually, I had ordered a couple more of these from Amazon. They shifted the delivery day out till the end of August, so I figured I was not going to get them. So I jumped into TCG Player uh, from some local sellers before the prices went too crazy. So still on almost 300 bucks a pop. This is a crazy expensive video. So definitely share it around and click on my TCG Player link. In the description, so that's an affiliate link. We'll get a small commission on the channel from your purchases, so that would be greatly appreciated. All right, let's get underway here with Web Weaver Changeling, Winged Coaddle, Doom Traveler, Glow Spore Shaman, Cruin Striker, Is It Boilerworks, Heroic Reinforcements, Monastery Swift Spear, so I think I'll set aside the Borderless Art. Azorius Chancery, nice. Thought Scour, foil no less, awesome. Blood Artist, and a Mythic Warrior's Oath, yes, foil Mythic awesomeness. Not textured though, but we'll keep track of the Mythics. Also got Anger of the Gods, very cool. Blood Forged Battle Axe, okay, so this looks foil etched. And another Blood Forge Battle Axe. Okay, can never have too many of those. And an Elemental with Soldier. Okay, so a bit of duplication there. Lots of borderless art as you would expect from these, because you are paying about, what, 70 to 80 bucks a pack. Pretty crazy. We have Anointer of Valor, Forbidden Alchemy, Call to the Feast, Kazmina's Transmutation, Eel Umbra. Bloodbraid Elf, Dream Shaper Shaman, and Demir Aqueduct for the Borderless. What else? Spell Pierce. Lightning Bolt, the classic, awesome. Azorius Chancery Foil Borderless, and Rune of the Hidden Realm. And a Mythic, yes, Cedrus the Traitor King. Okay, so add that to the Mythic Pile. And a foil etched Deathbringer Liege. Along with. Oh, Emrakul the Eon's Torn. Wait. Wait a minute. Holy crap, this is the textured card. What? Okay, okay, grabbing the sleeves. Um, trying not to let out the expletives. Holy moly. Ah, get it in the sleeves. Quick, I've got some piece of fuzz there. There we go. Holy crap. Okay, so that's the second one. We pulled a textured foil out of the uh, previous boxes. This is insanity. This video is now in the Greatest Hits playlist. The Greatest Hits in Channel History, link in the corner. So that right there, I would say almost paid for one box, perhaps. Okay, next we have Eel Umbra, Ether Snipe, Kazmina's Transmutation, Last Breath. That's all downhill from here, people. Experiment 1, Unburial Rites, Livewire Lash, Demir Aqueduct, okay, Borderless, Monastery Swift Spear, nice, Coiling Oracle, and Eternal Witness. What else? Splinter Fright. And Force of Negation. That is fantastic. What else will we get? Impervious Great Worm. So foil etched. And an Allosaurus Shepherd. Okay, checking that. That's just a regular foil, but still. So what are we at now? Like four Mythics. Holy moly, that is craziness. And a bear and knight. And uh, never fear, I'll be sleeving all these high-end cards up after the video. But we must keep on tracking here what's on the next pack. We got Carrier Thrall, Hero of the Games, Eel Umbra, 
Ether Snipe, Kismana's Transmutation Goblin Banneret, Bounty of the Luxa, Spell Pierce, okay, and Selesnya Sentry, love this artwork, Borderless, awesome. We've got a Foil Unearth, Lightning Bolt, halfway to our playset, Hardened Scales, what is this? Assassin's Trophy! Nice pull. Okay, I like that artwork as well. Food Chain Foil Etched! What is even happening? Okay, um, yeah. These are a great box and privileged position. I think that's just a regular foil. Okay, and Fairy Rogue with a Vampire. So that box was totally ridiculous. So what did we get? Like three, four, five mythics, including one textured foil. What are we gonna get in the second box? I'm pretty sure we're just gonna pull hot garbage at this point, but stay tuned. We have momentary blink, bloodwater entity, hyena umbra, deadly recluse. Tusk Guard Captain, Glory Scale, Viashino, Gruel Turf, and Simic Growth Chamber. Okay, so the Borderless Parade begins. Krozali Pride Mage, Thought Scour, Foil this time. Oars of Basilica. Oh, and Liliana, the last hope. Checking the foiling. I think that's a foil. Is that a foil etched? It sort of looks like it, yeah, I think so. So that'll go nicely in the Planeswalker collection. Smothering Tithe, okay, this box is looking cool. Phyrexian Altar, okay, so this is a foil etch, so I think that Liliana's probably, yeah, That now that I see it in the light, it's a regular foil. And Moldrotha, the Grave Tide, so this again, this looks like a regular foil, yep, got to check at an angle for the texture, spider, and Eldrazi Scion. Whew, three more packs. Has the madness ended? And I would say no, from that first pack, couple of mythics out of there, nice Liliana. We've got Traveler's Amulet, Dreg Mangler, Coiling Oracle, Perforos's Emissary, Titan's Strength, Myth Realized, Eternal Witness, awesome. We got Spell Pierce, and another Eternal Witness. Which uh, artwork do you prefer on those, by the way? Let me know in the comments. Calling Oracle, so Richard Kane Ferguson, awesome artwork. Seeker of the Way, Foil Borderless, Guided Passage, and Gifts Ungiven. That's pretty cool. I like the artwork there. And Dax Duplicate for the foil etched. What else? The Mimeoplasm. Okay. So he is a regular foil. I think there's only the heavy hitters are done in the uh, the uh, special textured foil. Bear and Golem. Two more packs. Let's see some more craziness. Can we pull two textured cards in one video? We've got Laev Sky Knight, Annoyed Ultasaur, Rift Bolt, 10th District Legionnaire, Living Lightning, Conclave Mentor, Bear's Companion, and these uh, cards want to stick together, so it's sort of slowing me down a bit. Spell Pierce, we've got Mole Drifter, very cool artwork. Demir Aqueduct, Foil Borderless, Monastery Swift Spear. Conqueror's Flail, okay, so there's a rare foil. And Teferi's Protection, nice. All right, and we have, oh, holy crap, here it is again, Imperial Seal, foil etched. Wait, sleeves, I need the sleeves, quickly, quickly. We need, we need to put this in a sleeve, and we'll look at what else is there after this. This is, is this like the best pull in the whole set? What is even happening? This video may well be the best video in the history of the channel. 
and Concordant Crossroads as well. Another Mythic, and an Egg, and Phyrexian Golem. Okay, well, we have totally cleaned up. If I were to sell all of this stuff, I'd pretty much just pay for the boxes, but I do want to keep a bunch of these in my collection, but holy cow, that is ridiculous. All right, Tuscard Captain, Bloodwater Entity, Rampant Growth, Eye Blights Ending, Experiment 1, Selesnya Sanctuary, Inquisition of Kozilek. That's awesome. And Gruel Turf, Borderless, Golgari, Rot Farm, Unearth Foil, okay. Flicker Wisp. And Elsha of the Infinite is the rare. Now this is usually where the craziness begins. And Surgical Extraction, okay, not too shabby. A Hydroid Crasis downshifted to rare, so this is the foil etched. And what's it going to be? Supreme Verdict. And again, checking that's like a regular foil. And a Zombie and Soldier. So these two cards right here. These are the goods, people. This is why these box prices are going through the roof as I uh, completely destroy one of the cards. But yeah, definitely worth picking these boxes up for sure. Let me know if you've opened any collector boosters, how did you do, or even any regular draft packs. And be sure to share this video around. This is absolute craziness. Hope everyone's staying safe and healthy out there. Thanks for watching and have a great day.